Well, hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Brian and Happy New Year. Today is January the 2nd, 2022. So uh, let's hope that this year is a little bit better than the last, but um, I don't know, can it really get much worse than 2020 and 2021? So uh, hopefully we'll make it the best of it. So anyway, guys, today uh, I wanted to do kind of a ex little experiment that uh, I have here in front of you guys. I got the Jackery. 300 Explorer uh, portable solar generator battery pack type thing and uh, a 12 volt cooler car refrigerator essentially a cooler um, <clears throat> and this is kind of of a no-name brand cooler it's just an Amazon Joy Tutus or Joy Tutus uh, I don't know it's not your your top of the line 12 volt coolers but I've played with it a few times inside the house just to make sure it's running and it works pretty well and I got it for the camper to keep all of our you know our, our food in when we go camping <clears throat> you know hot dogs meat all, all that good stuff cheese um, that way you don't have to keep it with the, the actual cooler with the ice and it gets all nasty so <clears throat> I wanted to do a runtime test I'm, and these have been done before I know but just for my own benefit I kind of wanted to see how long this Jackery 300 will keep this 12 volt cooler to around 34 degrees um, I'm gonna run it on eco mode and I'm just gonna let this thing run down, this Jackery run down until it, it's dead. Um, I think this thing will probably shut off when it gets below 10% power. So I'm just gonna keep coming in here every couple hours and looking at it and videoing what the, the, the battery level is at, at that time when I check it and see how long it lasts. So it is 11.15, hope you guys can see that on my phone here. That glare is not too bad, but it is 11.15 a.m. January 2nd. And I'm going to get this thing running and see how long this little guy will keep it going for. So let's get going. And I'm just gonna be using the DC port on the Jackery. So let me turn you guys around. I'm gonna plug in the cooler. And just to keep everyone honest here, now that I can see my phone, if this shows up, 1116 we're gonna plug this in straight to the 12 volt socket on the Jackery we are going to turn the DC on and you can see the Jackery is at 100% it's pulling zero watts so nothing is, is this is not using any any juice right now but let's turn on the cooler Let's set it to 35 degrees. There we go. And you can see the Jackery here is pulling 33 watts right now. 31 watts, 32 watts, and that's with the compressor running. So that should be about as much as it's gonna pull because the cooler right now is at 42 degrees. It's been in my garage overnight and uh, it's pretty cold here in Texas right now for, for a change. I actually have my Mr. Buddy heater going that I just did a video on with that fan. And so it's a little bit chilly. So again, it's pulling 30 watts. The cooler is at 42 degrees right now. And we're just gonna see how long it takes this Jackery to go down to zero, how long it'll keep this cooler cold for. Obviously this isn't perfect, you know, real world conditions out, out, out outside when it's 100 degrees. So time's gonna vary, I get it, I know. But just for me, I wanted to see how long this would take it to run. So I'll come check back in every, every hour, every couple hours and give you guys an update as to where we're at with the Jackery and the temperature of the cooler. And we'll see how long this thing works. So see you in a little bit. Okay everyone, I am back in the garage and it's been about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. So I wanted to come back here and check the Jackery, see how far down it has gone. Uh, check the temperature on the cooler to make sure it's maintaining the 34, 35 degrees. Um, and first I wanna show you the clock on my phone. So we're all staying honest here. So it is 1.11 p.m. My Jackery is at 96%. So it's gone down 4% in an hour and 45 minutes, roughly. We're not pulling any watts right now because the compressor's not on. 
um, and the cooler is maintaining 34 degrees. So I will check back in here in a few hours and give you guys an update on where we're at with the Jackery, how far down it's gone. Uh, make sure that this cooler is maintaining 34, 35 degrees. Um, and at the rate this is going, 4% in an hour and a half, uh, this thing's probably die in the middle of the night tonight. I'm not going to be able to come out here and give you guys an update, but um, we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to keep doing updates throughout the day and see where we end up tonight by the time uh, we go to bed. So stay tuned. Be back in a little bit. All right, guys, it is four o'clock and this is turning out to probably be the most boring video on YouTube ever, but it's my little experiment. So let's see where we're at. Um, the Jackery is at 91%. The cooler has dipped down to 31 degrees. So it's getting a little bit colder than what I had set for, but I'm not going to complain about that if it wants to get a little bit colder. So. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set this to the side. I'm gonna just open this up. So I think what actually I might do next next go around, I might put in some just some room temperature cans of vegetables or whatever I can find in the pantry to maybe heat this thing up a little bit, make it make it work a little bit harder. But 91% at four o'clock, so we're looking at almost five and a half hours of runtime now, and we've gone down nine percent on the Jackery. So this could take days. I don't know. So hopefully you guys will stick around for the next few updates. So I'll come out here tonight and see where we're at. And I might even heat this cooler up a little bit with some, I don't know, heat up some water, stick it in there, some room temperature cans. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but 91% at five hours in. So see you on the next one. Before I forget, 4.07 PM. So there we go. Okay, so as you can see, I had to move inside the house to make this a more of a fair fight, I think, because it was 55 degrees out in my garage, and, it, and here in the kitchen, it's 70, 72 degrees, so pretty average temperature. Um, and we're still at, hopefully you can, guys can get a good view of this, 85%, and the cooler now is at 29 degrees. So... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this down and just to make sure that this can replicate a little bit better. I'm just going to put in some, some room temperature cans here. I'm sure the wife is really enjoying my little experiment that I'm doing here. So I've got a couple of cans in there, room temperature, just vegetables. Um, I'm going to put this back on top and I'm going to keep this here overnight because it, it, the, at, the, at this rate, it's going to take three days to deplete this battery and I don't really want to do this for three days. So now we're inside the house. I've got some room temperature cans in here. It's going to heat up, warm up the inside of this cooler. It's going to have to work a little bit harder than it's been working. So 7.50 PM. So I'll come back here and probably check one more time tonight before I go to bed uh, and give you guys an update of where we stand on the Jackery. But let's say eight o'clock tonight, right now it's at 85%. So, and the cooler's at, now it's at 31 degrees because I just opened the lid. So we'll see, check back in later tonight. Okay guys, it's getting pretty late, but I just had to showcase how my dog likes to sleep now, apparently. I wish I could get that comfortable, but. Anyway, back to the experiment. It's 1040, 1050, and the Jackery is now at 64%, okay? And the cooler is at 35. So definitely bring it in, bringing it inside and putting the, the room temperature cans in here has made it work a little bit harder. So I'm gonna let this run overnight and I will get back with you guys in the morning and we'll see where the Jackery stands at then. See you guys tomorrow morning. Well, good morning, everyone. It is 7.55 a.m. on January the 3rd. And let's take a look and see where our Jackery's at this morning. So we are at 36% and our cooler is maintaining 34 degrees. So it worked a little bit more last night uh, being inside, but 
overall, I'm still pretty happy with the fact that it's at 36%, and this has been going on for 18 hours, roughly, but um, I'll keep checking it, and uh, I'll keep it inside, I'll keep it up here. I had to move it off the island, the wife didn't love it on the island in our kitchen, so it's, it's gonna stay here until this battery runs dead, and I uh, will keep checking in and posting updates. Okay, here is another update. It is 11.06, almost noon, and the Jackery is at 24%. Cooler is still at 34%. So I'm gonna open this cooler up, let some of this cold air out. And it's, it's cold in there. So let's close it back down open it up and see how far this 24 percent gets us now on this jackery but so far we're, we're almost on 24 hours going with this cooler and this jackery so um pretty impressive check back in a little bit okay guys final update on this it is 1 52 p.m so roughly two o'clock and the jackery now is at 15% power, the cooler is still at 34 degrees, and I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off because I don't want this thing to stop running and me not catch it uh, to help you guys show you how long this thing runs. So let's take this out to the garage, AKA my shop, and do a final rundown on this thing. Okay, everyone, so that is going to do it for this Jackery Explorer 300 test. Um, overall, I'm very impressed with it now. Um, granted, it wasn't. I wasn't pushing it too hard. It's not 100 degrees outside. Um, it maintained an average of 34 degrees, um, and the cooler for the first five hours was in my garage with an ambient temperature of 55 degrees. Um, then I moved it inside the house where the ambient temperature was around 72 degrees uh, constant, and it still maintained it. It, it. Of course, it used more battery juice because the cooler had to work a little harder when I moved it in. But overall, I started this at 11.15 yesterday, and it is now roughly 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. next day. So this little guy powered this cooler for over 24 hours, uh, 26 and a half hours, pretty close to it. Um, and I did put some regular room temperature cans in here midway through it to, to warm back up the cooler to make this thing work a little harder. Uh, every couple of hours, I would come in and open up the lid to the cooler as I would do regularly in the real world, probably more so um, in the real world, but I still wanted to get that cold air to escape to you know make the cooler work and make the jackery in turn work to keep it at, at a steady temperature. I know that I will be able to use this Jackery to power this cooler wherever I'm to get to wherever I'm going, so if that makes sense. So once I get to where I'm going, I can either charge the Jackery back up or I can simply plug in the cooler to an AC power or a DC outlet in a car, whatever have you. But I just really wanted to know if this thing would power it long enough to get me where I wanna get going. This is not made to power your cooler for a week um, or even a, f a few days. Um, it'll probably work if you stretch it 24 hours um, if you, and especially if you don't lower the cool the temperature on the cooler down if you keep it around 40 45 it'll pro it'll obviously run longer um, but overall guys i'm really impressed with this jackery uh, and the cooler's pretty good too you know i haven't put it through its paces yet but the the four or five times i've ran it in the house before this video it's worked fine and for this video it's ran constantly for 26 and a half hours um, with no issues so Overall, I'm happy, I'm happy with both. Um, if you guys are interested in this cooler, again, it's not a top of the line cooler, um, but I'll, I'll put a link down below and everybody knows where to get these jackeries at, but I got mine on Amazon. But overall, um, I hope that kind of helped if you guys were trying to figure out how long these things would run just a little cooler. Um, so there you have it, guys. And until then, we will see you next time. Take care.